Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. Morgan's with me today. Hey, Mark. What are we going to look at today? So today we're going to compare a couple of my favorite machines. We have the uh, Jura Ena Micro 9 and the Gaja Anima. This is the Prestige model. Now, both of these machines, as you can see, are a slimmer design than, than most of the available Super Automatics. Both also are one-touch machines, which means you can get a milk-based drink at the touch of a single button, and all those volumes for those drinks are programmable. So while we're starting to talk about these, I'm just going to get a milk-based drink going on each machine. So I'm going to put my uh, cup under the spouts here, and on this one, we're just going to press the Latte Macchiato button. And notice I've got a six-inch cup under here on the uh, Gaja. Got a lot of clearance for those taller glasses, if that's what you like. And here the grinder growing, going, uh, doing our fresh beans. And over here on the Jura Ina Micro 9, I'm going to do a cappuccino. Now, both machines will do a cappuccino and a latte macchiato at the touch of a single button. Without moving your cup. Without moving your cup. So, as you can see, they have different ways of work getting the milk in there. We have a separate carafe here. And this, if you buy it from Whole Latte Love, most often this comes with the machine. It's a 20-ounce thermally insulated carafe. You see there comes our milk. Our milk is coming on both machines. Over here it's a detachable craft. So you pull this out of your fridge, attach to the machine, press your button, make your drink. Okay, so our milk is done over milk here. Milk is done. Jar. You kind of get an idea of the froth quality there. Mm -hmm. And here comes our espresso. And again, now these volumes are all programmable as far as how much you get in, and it's really easy to do. So there's our cappuccino, our froth over here. Let's take a look at that real quick while the machine's heating up to do the espresso. There's kind of the quality of the froth. I'm going to put that back under there. And again, you don't have to move your cup at all when you're making this drink. But here comes our espresso for our latte macchiato. You can see the, the layers starting to develop here. Looks good. Looks very nice. And then Now when this drink is done, I want to show you uh, what happens here something very important with machines that work with milk. So when it's done, so now it's asking me, I've got 10 seconds, if I hit the check button now, it'll put some water through the craft to clean things out before you go put that back in the fridge. And I mean, I'm not going to do that because maybe we'll make another milk-based drink. So. so there is our latte macchiato and our cappuccino. Again, both machines can do both of those drinks. Um, and again, I do want to say that, you know, you can fit six inch cups under here. On the Ena Micro 9, you do have an adjustable spout. It only goes up to five and a half inches, so that, that six inch cup isn't going to fit under there. Um, so, let's take a look at the top of the machines. Um, on the Jura Eno Micro 9, the total height is 12.72 inches here, okay. Um, here's our water reservoir. It's 37 ounces, right, Maureen? Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, on this. Um, now realize that if you have 18 inch cabinets, and that's a typical height for overhanging cabinetry, that you're going to run in, you might have some troubles getting at that out from there. Yeah. Um, both machines will take a water filter. We don't have one in right now. We do recommend using those. Here's our, where the beans go in here for good fresh beans. Nice sealing lid. Both machines will let you know when you're out of beans. Um, here is the adjustment for a, a conical ceramic burr grinder other than your Ena Micro 9. You have five grind adjustments here. And then over here, under this lid, is for, this is for pre-ground coffee. Most people will use that to put some pre-ground decaf in there when they don't want caffeine later in the day, but you can use other pre-ground coffee as well. Um, the, and see, when I open that door on this machine, it thinks I want to brew with that. And it's going to realize in just a second that I'm not actually doing that because no coffee went in and it'll just reset and everything's going to be fine. Um, so our whole menu, it's a, it's a uh, dial with a center button here as we access different things. So right here you can choose your coffee strength right before you brew. It has two strengths on the Jura. Um, now let's go over to the Gaja Anima for just a minute. We'll show you how you choose strength there. Um, we have over, oh, well, let's start up top. We have the 60-ounce water reservoir here, so a little more capacity. Again, it'll take the filter. Mm -hmm. um, also notice that when you raise these lids up, these come up to about 17 inches. So you'll have another inch here. So it is possible, even with overhanging cabinetry, to, to just out. about get that water reservoir out of there. Mm -hmm. um, we, have a, we have a bypass doser over here as well, so you can do that decaf when you want it from pre-ground coffee. And then underneath this lid is where our beans go. So you've got some uh, pretty substantial bean storage there. 
Our grinder here, it's a flat ceramic burr and it has five grind settings as well. You adjust by using this little tool here. Okay. As far as the drinks, uh, let's take a look at the, oh, let's talk about strength first because mm -hmm. you can, you can brew a single espresso using up to 11 and a half grams of coffee, which is a pretty big dose. Most times you go out to a cafe for a single espresso, they're going to use seven grams. So you can get pretty strong on the Gaja Anima. That's right. And you change that strength right here. You see I, that one pass full strength goes to telling it you're going to use that bypass doser, and then you've got the five strength settings. Yep, six and a half to 11 and a half. Grams, yep. Mm -hmm. And over on the Jura, you just had two strength settings. Um, so a little more option here as to how strong you like your coffee with the Gaja. Yeah. Um, let's take a look inside at what makes these machines tick and how you'd empty out the things like the drip trays and that sort of stuff. So um, first of all, the drip tray on this, I always like to have a rag around. Um, so we like the, the raised edge around here. It keeps any liquids that come down, any spills, they'll end up in the drip tray. Yeah. You remove the drip tray just by pushing the buttons and pulling this out. And you notice the display is told us that we remove that. So here's our coffee puck storage. And Morgan, how many do we get in there? That holds 15. So 15 brewing cycles. And then the drip tray, any liquids end up in here. We like the baffles in here that keep it, keep it from sloshing around as you take it to the sink to empty it. And then we'll take a look at the side. The, what makes these machines tick, the little mini barista that's inside is the brew group. In the Gaja, it's removable. So you just pull that out, the maintenance on this, once a week you just take it to the sink, you rinse it with cool water, no detergents, no scrubbing, you just rinse it off, let it dry, and you put it back in. Put that back together. Now over on the Jura, similar, we have the drip tray right here, just pulls right out. Here's our used coffee. Yep, you, you only get nine used um, pucks in that one. So, so nine, okay. And then there's our drip tray, so it's a little smaller, so you, you know, you might be emptying this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing I really want to highlight is that the brew group does not come out of this machine. You cannot remove it. Or any Juras for that matter. Right? For, yeah, most any Juras, yeah. I think there's a couple that might have one, okay. but uh, for the most part, they all do not have removable brew groups. So instead of removing the brew group to clean it, you would use one of these tablets here that goes right into the bypass doser and that handles cleaning that brew group out for you. The machine will tell you when it's time to do that. And those come with the machine And as well. you get a couple of those tablets with the machine. Yep. Um, so put that back in there. So what are the biggest differences between these two? Well really, I mean it's the carafe. Now if you just buy a Jura anywhere, it's not necessarily going to come with this. Right now at Whole Lots I Love, you buy this machine, this comes with it. Mm -hmm. It's thermally insulated, 20 ounces. Um, also, you can program drinks using a menu up here. You can also do the press and hold, or you just press and hold down the button that you want to and then tell the machine when you've got the volume in the cup that you want. Um, they both have like auto shut off time, so you can leave the house after you know, using it in the morning and know that it's going to shut down. Um, what else? What are a couple different? I mean, they're very similar in size. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, what style do you like? You right, know? yeah. Um, oh, the Jura is just a smidge smaller. Just just a touch smaller, but again, be careful because you really need some more height. If That's height's right. a concern for you to get to get those off of there. Mm -hmm. um, also, you have so other big difference: two temperature settings on this, three on the Gaja, two coffee strengths on the Jura, five on the Gaja. So you can fine tune, and again, it's got that up to eleven and a half grams. Mm -hmm. um, they both do the pre infusion. Gonna walk by here, we'll put this back together. Now, one thing I want to do, let's do an espresso like side by side on these. Um, so, move this out of the way. And we'll get an espresso going on both just so you can see we have the same coffee in, in both. So, I'm gonna hit my espresso button here and my espresso button here. So, another, another little difference is that on the Anima, you can have it make two drinks at once. You do have a dual spout here. It's a single spout on the uh, Jura. And if you do just press either of the coffee buttons twice, it'll make two and it'll grind separately for each. So it's not making it weaker, but you can get two. So the shot on our Jura is done. I'm going to just put it over here so we can kind of compare it. You can see it's got a nice crema there mm -hmm. working. And again, we're using the same coffee in both.
And some nice, nice crema on the uh, ganja here as well. And again, these are all programmable. Um, so again, big differences, just more coffee strength options here. Um, and an, an extra temperature option here as well. Mm -hmm. They both do a, a cleaning cycle after doing milk if you want it to run it. Uh, uh, larger capacity in both water and spent grounds in yeah. Gaja. Wa yeah, more capacity over here. Um, so anything else that we left out? I don't, I don't think so. Um, again, uh, the program is, is all touch and hold on the Gaja Anima. You can do the touch and hold over here. You can also access a menu and program your volumes in there as well. So that's a comparison of the Jura Eno Micro 9, Eno Micro 9, to the Gaja Anima Prestige. That's right, and you can get them both at wholelattelove.com. I'm Mark. I'm Morgan. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Whole